Starting off with this little Suzanne top, a good keyword to use for something like this with this type of material is broderie anglaise. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's what this type of material is. And it's a great keyword because a lot of people will search for that. So this little Suzanne top went for $15 plus postage. A brand new with tags faux fur vest from Ping Pong. This went for $25 plus postage. A lovely square metallic top from Elk. Elk is a fantastic brand to look out for. This one went for $35 plus postage. A very classic corporate dress from Q. This went for $35 plus postage. Beautiful lace dress from Portman's. This went for $30 plus postage. A very basic shift dress, and this is an older style from David Lawrence. It went for $15 plus postage. This is like a retro rockabilly brand. This one went for $21 plus postage. A little Y2K Adidas jumper. That went for $20 plus postage. Max Mara is a fantastic brand to look out for. This went for $49 plus postage as it is a silk blend. The next three items are a bundle deal from Poshmark and I love, love, love bundle deals. It makes my job a lot easier. So we've got this adorable boho dress at the top. This is just a little boutique brand and I could barely find anything on it. So don't keep an eye out for it. Jump is a brand to grab. It's pretty good in most of its styles. And then finally, this little Tommy Hilfiger basic jersey style top. All three of these went for $70 plus postage. Back to eBay, we sold this wrap dress from Portman's for $39 plus postage. I did some online arbitrage on the Portman's website probably a few months ago, and I've been just ticking over these every now and then on my eBay store. So this particular fit and flare dress with the tiered skirt, that went for $55 plus postage. A basic button up top. This is 100% linen from Yarra Trail. It went for $17 plus postage. An awesome vintage tourist shirt from 1993 in Las Vegas. This went for $15 plus postage. Just a little basic wrap dress. This is just a basic boutique brand. See it everywhere in all the op shops I go to. Don't pick it up just for this brand. I literally only got this dress because it was a fantastic style, really great pattern. So this went for $20 plus postage. Sold this chicken run game that I recently got untested. This went for $44 including postage. A set of four Shirley Barber books, my absolute favorite. These went for $20 plus postage. Finally saw this epic Krusty Demons suitcase. This went for $30 plus postage. And the last item going out today is this complete crochet set, which is brand new and sealed. This went for $30 including postage. I currently have a surplus of boxes. I have way more than I need. So all of today's items are going to be shipping out in cardboard boxes, 100% plastic free. Usually I put clothing items in compostable satchels from Hero Packaging. It's a lot faster, but with today, I've got so much of this free resource that needs to be used. So today, a little bit different, we're gonna put it all in boxes. I process most of my items via Sendle. I find the interface a lot easier to use and the shipping times seem to be a lot faster than Australia Post. Also, processing my shipping via these couriers means my item is being sent 100% carbon neutral, which is a huge eco-friendly tick for me. Now let's go through how I ship items 100% plastic free. Well, starting off, I grab a cardboard box. I get these cardboard boxes free from my husband's work, but you can pick them up free from any small local retail business, a community center, your local council building. There's so many avenues you can pick up these free boxes. I take all of the sticky tape off the boxes because sticky tape cannot be recycled or composted. So it ends up in landfill no matter which avenue you go through. So for my customers, I guarantee 100% plastic free packaging so that on their end, they can completely recycle it in their yellow bin curbside council recycling bin or they can compost absolutely every piece of packaging I give them. So taking the sticky tape off, I know exactly where it's going, but then I also know that for my customer, the waste journey on their end is far easier and less complicated for them. 
So I start off by sealing my cardboard box with paper tape where the gum is water activated. This water activated sticky tape is really strong. It's 100% plastic free and the gum that's used is not petroleum based. So it's also a lot more eco-friendly and great for the environment if you are composting this item. Then we need to line the box with some fill. I get old newspapers from my local community center once the next month of newspapers have come out and they are no longer being able to be used or handed out. So for them, they're just gonna go into their recycle bin. So for me, they are a fantastic resource for a 100% plastic free fill for my packages. So I go and pick those up once a month and that's what we're going to be filling most of the boxes with today. So we put a few bunches of newspaper in first, then in goes the item this particular item doesn't need to be padded anymore. If it was fragile, I would pad it a lot more than this. Then I pop in a plastic free thank you note. You don't have to add a thank you note to your packages, but I just like the nice little feeling it gives people knowing that they've shopped sustainably and that their choices really do make a difference. And it shows my genuine gratitude for having someone shop in my store. So I pop this in, then we put some more fill on top and seal it up with our water activated paper. Paper tape. Once the box is sealed, I then pop on the shipping label for Sendal. My shipping labels are again 100% plastic free and home compostable. Now if you're not at the stage to have a Dymo printer and compostable shipping labels, that's okay. You can just use paper. I used paper shipping labels that I printed just via a standard printer for about three years and then I used to stick them down with this product. It's from Cello Tape. it's called Enviro Tape but it's completely made from biodegradable plant cellulose and this is what original cellophane is made out of. It's just plant-based and it breaks down really really quickly. There is a link for these on eBay via my description on this video. Now Wednesday night so we're gonna ship out everything that's sold over the last couple of days. First up this linen blend top from Suzanne it sold super quickly within a few hours of me listing it. This went for $16.50 plus shipping. A very beautiful faux wrap dress from Forecast. This went for $31.50 plus postage. 100% wool base layer dress from Witchery. This went for $35 plus postage. The next three sales are from Poshmark. This Ruby Yaya top went for $35 plus postage. Then we have two vintage robes. This one still has its original tag. This top one went for $40. And then this handmade one went for $32 plus postage. Another super quick sale. This went within 24 hours of me listing it. It's 100% pure wool from Tasmania, Australia. And this went for an offer of $53 plus postage. A super fun dress from Witchery. This one went for $40 plus postage. We then have this very inconspicuous book that came as part of a big bulk buy and it has original photography in it and was published in 1956. This went for $89 free shipping. Lastly is just a pair of little socks that went on Depop for $5.95 free shipping. I got hundreds of these last year and they just tick over every now and then. I haven't sold a pair in quite a while. They were very popular in spring and summer and now that it's a bit colder obviously they've dropped off but they're just a good little addition to my store that sell through every now and then. So at the beginning of the week I showed you guys how to ship plastic free using boxes. Now the other method that I use to ship plastic free is use Using home compostable satchels and I get all of mine from Hero Packaging. They are an incredible company. I use mostly the medium size and then I think this is the extra small size. Oh, just small size. This is just your plain black one. Both of them are reusable which is fantastic. If my customer needs to send a return back to me they can reuse it or they can reuse it themselves for any other purpose. And then this awesome one is designed by a local 
local Indigenous artists, so it's in collaboration with them, and part of the profits go to a First Nations charity, and it looks so cute as well. So this is another way to send it plastic-free, eco-friendly. Now, I really like using home compostable satchels, not only for their eco-friendly benefits, but also it's a lot faster to ship using these. As you can see in the beginning of the video when I was shipping everything in boxes, it takes just that little bit longer, a little bit more effort. So when I am just shipping clothing items such as tops, skirts, dresses, they're not going to break in the mail. So they can just go in these compostable satchels and they'll be fine at the other end. Finishing up this video of everything that has sold from Friday to Friday are these items going out today. So let's go through them. First up are a couple of sales from Poshmark. We've got this silk and cashmere blend scarf. This went for $45 plus postage. A button up from Tommy Hilfiger. This went for $21 plus postage. I ran a huge 99 cent auction sale on a lot of items that were around 12 months old. So the next few items are from that. This top one is a blouse from Suzanne that went for $2 plus postage. A pair of country road jeans, again, $2 plus postage. I'm just happy to get them out the door. About 12 months ago, I went to a garage sale and got a heap of vintage band t-shirts and hats. Now this Reba bundle I've had, like I said, up for sale for about 12 months. I haven't had any interest on it. So this again went on auction for $31 plus postage. Moving into the general sales on eBay, this 100% silk top from David Lawrence went for $30 plus postage. A line cotton dress from Yarra Trail, that went for $25 plus postage. Beautiful silk singlet from MA Dainty, that went for $59 plus postage. Original vintage 60s dress, this went on offer for $35 plus postage. The coolest vintage 80s dead stock dress from Stitches Melbourne, brand new with tags. This went for $50 plus postage. Beautiful set of pajamas from Suzanne. They went for $20 plus postage. Just a basic t-shirt from Virtuel, but it is brand new with tags. This went for $24 plus postage. Finishing up the clothes, we've got this jumper from Billabong, which went for $27 plus postage. We've then got this pair of Avon heels. They are brand new without the box. These went for $35 plus postage. A brand new pair of shoes from Baird. I got these from some online arbitrage on their sale. These went on offer for $179 plus postage. A brand new pair of New Balance shoes. Again, I'd had these for sale for over 12 months. They just didn't sell. So these went on a 99 cent auction. They ended up going for $35 plus postage. This really cute pair of Nine West heels, again, went on a 99 cent auction and they ended up selling for $5 plus postage. Finishing up the sales for this week is this set of of Simpsons themed items. So we've got two energy drinks and a beer glass. So this went all together for $59 plus postage. Mm -hmm. 